stay in hope or get up and go. It is a mental battle for the many families imp impacted by the plant shutdown, and it's not just weighing heavy on the minds of adults. Taylor DeHayes now has one teen's struggle to stay or go. Dribbling down the court. You go there and you forget about everything else going on in the world. Your only focus is playing basketball. Bouncing ideas in her head. A lot of stress. <laughs> Uh, constantly wondering what we're going to do, what the future holds, where we're going to go for holidays. Kaylin Higginbotham's life is about to pivot. Her father is transferring to a plant in Tennessee after losing his job in Lordstown. The news coming as Kaylin was just accepted to Youngstown State University. I've been taking College Credit Plus classes since I was in like the eighth grade. Um, so I've already had my mind set on YSU. Now, possibly sacrificing her education to stay close to family. You might even skip college altogether. It might be, yeah. Kind of lost hope in everything. I've lived here all my life. It's going to be a big change to go somewhere else. The move impacting the whole family. Hello. Hello. Kaylin's mother, Renee, is a bus driver for the district. She's doing what she can to support her husband and her children as they uproot their lives and head south. My eighth grade daughter is really worried about going down because she doesn't think she's going to make any friends. With the fate of the Lordstown GM plant up in the air, kids in these hallways are impacted too. Up to 75 students are still deciding if they'll be walking these hallways next fall. Some of them that frankly are going to stay and hope for a, a plant or a car to be put in this plant. Just a lot of uncertainty uh, creates a lot of um, I don't know, nervousness. Superintendent uh, Terry Armstrong says it's devastating and the district will take a hit. Teachers, students, families, the hallways a little more somber. At senior night, hugs a little tighter. It takes on a different flavor because the uncertainty. Uh, some of them knowing they're moving, uh, some of them not knowing when they're gonna, the rest of the family's gonna be able to move with them. Uh, some of them w still waiting to know if they got a transfer. The celebration was moved up weeks to accommodate families forced to leave town, saying final goodbyes. Tennessee's just kind of been like, slammed into my head and now I think I've made peace with it. <laughs> um, but I, I don't know, I don't really want to leave everything here. What put Lordstown on the map? GM built this community. Is what some students fear will leave their home forgotten. Uprooting lives, leaving Lordstown nothing but a speck on the map. What is this town going to be like a year from now? What town? I feel like there's not going to be a town. In Lordstown, Taylor DeHayes, News 5.